These are a pair of Minnetonka women's nine and a half shoes. They're kind of like slippers. They're flat on the bottom uh, with no rubber or anything. Um, I had these up for, I think, 50 but I took an offer of 32 because I'm making deals. This is a vintage Farber wear, super fast percolator. Uh, it does work. I tested it. Um, it's kind of a mini size. It's probably best for like one or two people. Uh, it's really cute. I love percolators like this. Um, I've never actually used a percolator to make coffee. I should try it probably. Um, and this sold for $36.99. This is a brass uh, port porthole um, cover that's been made into a mirror, as you can see. Um, we bought this in Amsterdam last year. You can see it's just a mirror on the back. And um, I sold this for $80. So I think we only paid a couple euro for it. Um, I guess they don't think these are very special, but they are very cool, and uh, 80 bucks is a great price. This is a vintage Sears red, super red, corduroy shirt, sold for $20. This is a 1992 pop swatch. Um, you can pop it out of the case and put it in a different band. This one is an awesome, like, paisley velvet band. I think I bought this for $3. I replaced the battery, so you can see the battery works. Um, and it's pretty awesome. This is actually a leather band, so it's leather and velvet. And I had this up for $120, and I got a ton of low offers, like 20 bucks and whatever. This is the only um, version of this pop swatch that I could see on eBay, so I kept it up high. And we took an offer of $80 yesterday, and it's someone in the global shipping program in the UK. This is a vintage Stetson Roadrunner uh, cowboy hat. It is real straw. Um, it's very stiff. You can see the logo, Stetson Roadrunner. Um, and it's got the size, which is always helpful, 6 and 7 eighths. Um, I had this up for 65 um, and I didn't have make an offer on it for a while, um, but then we decided to put anything over $50 ma has make an offer. Uh, most things did, but um, there are several items. It was actually 300 items, which sounds like a lot, but we have almost 4,000 items in our store. So... We put make an offer on this, and I went back and forth with this guy all week, pretty much. He first offered like 20 bucks, and I'm like, no. Finally, I got him to offer $43, so I'm fine with that. $43 is a good price for him. It's a good price for me. This is a very basic craftsman uh, charger for a drill battery or some kind of battery. Um, and the cool thing about this model, you can see the model number under here, is that it's no longer made. So that means it's hard to find. So if someone lost their charger or bought a drill at an auction or yard sale and they don't have the charger, that's perfect. This sold for $30. I probably just found it in like a 50 cent bin. So those are always good things to get. These are a pair of women's Echo brand sandals. You can see they have like a leather footbed. I think they've like almost never been worn. Um, I had these up for 60 <laughs> and Jay took an offer of 35, which I was a little surprised at, but yesterday, which was a Friday, we had no sales, not one sale. I honestly cannot remember the last time we haven't had at least one even low dollar sale. Zero sales all day yesterday. So this was the first offer we got and we took it. This is the blackjack tabletop. Um, it's upside down. But you can see it's got a place for chips and it's padded. It's cool. Um, it's a little bit stained. There's some marks on it. Um, but it sold for $120 full price. This is a little hat pin. 
by the brand Etienne Ajner, or however you say it in French. Someone knows, I know. Um, it's got this burgundy uh, enamel, and it's brass. Very, very cool. I love it. I think I just found this, like, in a bag uh, that I had bought at a thrift store. So it was kind of like an extra find. Um, and it sold for $19 to someone in Iceland. And I believe Iceland is not covered by global shipping, so I'm shipping it directly to them. This is a set of 26 pieces of vintage flatware. Um, it's kind of that canoe muffin style where it's got that fake wood resin handle with stainless. Um, you can kind of see here it's got this starburst, which is so great. Um, there's no brand. It just says stainless Japan. I've never been able to figure out what the pattern is. Um, but this sold for $96 full price, no make an offer, um, which is great for 26 pieces. Uh, it's a beautiful set and, um, yeah, I, I don't think I paid a lot for this. I want to say maybe 10 bucks. So that's a, that's a good sale. This is a vintage 80s pair of Nine West um, sandals, flats. The, this style is super popular with the hipster girls. Um, this is an eight and a half. Uh, it's not new in box, it's just used in the box. <laughs> um, and these sold for $40. Pretty good price. This is a 1974 yearbook from Penn State. Um, not very exciting, although Joe Paterno, some people are into the history and everything like that. Um, I had this up for 125 which no one else has sold it for that much. I think the most I saw some of these were for $75. Um, so I took an offer of 50 which is good. $50 for a college yearbook. Pretty awesome. Okay, these are some hats that sold over the weekend. This is a vintage Trans Am hat. I'm pretty sure it's Trans Am the car. Uh, I've never seen that logo before, but it's pretty awesome. Uh, this sold for $36.99. This is a fur felt um, fedora Park Royal. Uh, all fur felt. Um, sometimes these can sell for a lot of money if they're like a Stetson. Um, but this is just kind of a generic brand. Um, this sold for $36.99. Still a good price. This is a burlap cowboy hat um, with a little pin that has a saddle on it. Um, let's see, it says medium, made in the USA, so it is vintage. Um, and that sold for, how much did that sell for? $50. Uh, that's a great price for a hat also. Um, and people ask me how I ship these. Um, and because this, you don't want it to get crushed. It's very light, you know, it's under a pound, but, um, I ship it in a big box and I charge for priority, uh, for one pound. So it does not get crushed. These are two Jonathan Adler, uh, cookie jars or candy jars. Um, we bought them for, I think $2 each. Uh, you can see the Jonathan Adler. Um, this is called the Vices Collection. You can look it up. Um, he has some pretty funny jars that have, like, names of drugs on them and stuff. It's pretty funny. We actually took an offer of $50 each on these. So these sold as a set for $100. Um, we did that during the podcast. <laughs> That's what the chichings and the offers that we got we're on these. So uh, we paid probably $2 each and we sold them for 100 total, which is great. This is an all leather vintage weightlifters belt. I think I've shown that I've sold these before. Uh, they sell all the time. Um, and this one's in a little bit of a rough shape. You can see on the belt, it's not super fancy. It's not lined. A lot of people like it to be padded. So I sold this for $36.99. Still a great price. These are uh, Conair brand uh, buzz cutters or hair clippers. Um, they don't sell for a lot of money, but 
uh, we use ours like crazy because uh, I shave my head too, mostly. Um, so these sold for 20 bucks, which isn't bad. Uh, if you can get them for 50 cents to a dollar, 20 bucks is not bad. Okay, this is a t-shirt from the Horde Festival, 1998. Uh, it's brand new. We actually have like four of them. Um, I think we found these at Goodwill or someplace, and there was a bunch of them, so <laughs> we just got them all. And this one sold for 16 bucks. Not bad. This is a Travel Pro Walkabout brand uh, briefcase, uh, carry-on bag. It does have some marks on the front, as you can see. Um, but these bags are a good quality bag, and they sell for a good amount of money, even with stains. Um, this sold for 40 bucks, so that's a great price for just a bag we found, you know, at the bottom of a pile in a thrift store. So uh, I think if it didn't have stains and was in better shape, it would have sold for more. Another pair of vintage spectacles sold. Um, I had these up for 65. They are not gold filled, um, but they do come with the original leather case from Ballard's in Atlanta. Uh, pretty cool. Um, uh, I took an offer of $50. This is a very cool brass and glass candle holder, uh, lantern. Um, it's got that cool cut glass. Uh, you can open it up here. And you put the little candle in. It's got a little thing to hold it. Um, it's very cool. And this actually sold on Bonanza for $50. This is a John Deere hat. Um, there are lots of John Deere fans out there. Nothing runs like a deer. Um, it sold for $20 on Bonanza. We sold three things on Bonanza yesterday. So I don't know what's going on. Um, we hadn't had a sale on Bonanza for a while. And then three things sold, so something's going on. This is two pairs of Dickies pants, work pants. Um, these are super popular. This is two pairs, so we sold it for $35, which is a great price. This is a vintage 80s La Sport sack uh, fanny pack, or in the UK you might call it a bum bag, um, because fanny means a very different thing. Um, than it does in the U.S. Uh, okay, so this actually sold for $40 because um, it's super vintage and awesome to a prop buyer in L.A. for uh, an HBO show. She said it was a new show because I started guessing which shows it was <laughs> because we watch a lot of shows on HBO. Um, and she said it was a new show and she just messaged me to make sure that I would ship on time uh, so it would get to them in time for the shoot. So that's always fun when people buy props and then sometimes you see those props in the shows which has happened to us uh, with Mad Men. That was fun. So 40 bucks is a great sale for a dinky little bag. This is an amazing Ralph Lauren uh, jeans co uh, denim style uh, jean jacket uh, I got this at an estate sale I think it was between two and five dollars um, I just thought it was awesome and uh, I had it up for 80 this one I think I had it up for 80 this woman offered 42 uh, I countered and we settled at 55 so I'm happy I want to move jackets I would love to have gotten 80 for it, but, you know, $50, $55, you got to say yes. This is a vintage Wells Fargo hat. Um, the cool thing about it is the patch. Although it's really weird, Baker Industries, like someone really was stretching it there. Um, usually now when we get hats that are like floppy and old like this, there's some wear. This is broken. Um, we just take the patch off and sell the patch by itself. Um, but this is a little bit older, so we hadn't done that. Um, but we sold this whole thing for $16.99. So it was $17 um, basically for the patch, which is pretty awesome. This is a super cute uh, vintage necklace. Um, it's got 
little elephants. It's a mama and a baby. It's so cute. It does have some wear. You can see where the gold tone is kind of worn. Um, there's no maker's mark on it. I did not see that. I looked everywhere. Um, but I did sell it for $40. So that is still a great price. And that's it for this week. See ya.